What is up everybody, AJ here. Welcome, welcome back to the channel. Today is only December 12th, but it is feeling a lot like Christmas to me. And that's because Microsoft has just announced the first preview of 64-bit emulation on ARM. So what we're gonna to do today is run through exactly how you can upgrade your Surface Pro X or any other ARM-powered Windows device to this latest Windows Insider preview to get those 64-bit apps running on your PC. Microsoft has also dropped a couple of Christmas blog posts all about 64-bit emulation on ARM and links to the latest Qualcomm drivers to install alongside your Windows Insider preview. I'll drop the link to all of those down below. For reference, today we'll be doing everything on my Surface Pro X with the SQ1 processor, 16 gigs of RAM and a 256 gig SSD. It's currently running on Windows 10 20 H2 and we're going to update this to the latest Windows Insider Preview build so we can get that 64-bit emulation running. But anyway, enough with the introductions, let's get into this. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is make sure our computer is enrolled into the Windows Insider Preview. To do that, you want to go into your settings as we've done here. Go over to where it says Update and Security and select on that option. On the left hand side here, you'll see Windows Update, you'll see Delivery Optimization, you'll see Windows Security, and down the bottom, you see the option of Windows Insider Program, and you're gonna select on Windows Insider Program. I've already enrolled this into the Windows Insider Program, but you're gonna see an option that says Get Started. You're gonna simply select the option of Get Started, and it's gonna ask you to link an account. From there, you're gonna simply select an account and choose which channel you wanna join, whether it's gonna be Dev, beta or release preview. For this tutorial, I've unenrolled my account just to be a bit more in line with where you're up to. So I'm gonna go back to the link and account stage. So I'm gonna select link the Windows Insider account. It's gonna ask me to choose which account I wanna link and then I'm gonna hit continue. I've linked my Hotmail account and you can see here it says I'm now enrolled in the dev channel. I'm just gonna open up this option of dev channel very quickly to show you how you can change and choose which insider settings you wanna be in. The dev channel, as it says, is for highly technical users because you're getting the first and the rawest and most buggy version of the Windows 10 preview. The beta channel is recommended for the early adopters because this gives you a lot of the features that's out in dev, but it's ironed out a lot of the bugs. And the release preview is essentially getting the version of Windows 10 just before it goes out to general availability. Because we want that 64-bit emulation, we need to make sure that we're on that dev channel option. So I do want to give you the caveat that if this is your main PC or your only PC, you may want to hold off until the 64-bit emulation rolls over to the beta or the release preview channels, only because the dev channel has the most bugs inside of it. For me, I really want to see how 64-bit emulation runs on the Pro X, and this isn't my main device, so I'm going to leave it enrolled in the dev channel, and if you want to install the 64-bit emulation today, you'll have to as well. All right, so once you've installed into the Insider program, I recommend doing a restart of your PC. And once your PC has restarted, go back into your settings and go to Windows Update. What you'll see is that your PC is now downloading the Windows 10 Installer Preview, build 2277. But if you go back to the blog post, it says you actually need Windows build 21277. What it says in the blog post is that this is an optional update as a secret experience in Windows Update. So insiders will have to go and choose to install the currently offered release build. So I want you to think about this for a second while my PC finishes installing its update. We're already enrolled in the Windows Dev, the most buggy version of, of Windows 10 previews out there. And to install the version that has 64-bit emulation, we have to manually go out, seek, and install it ourselves. What this tells me is that we're about to install a very, very raw version of Windows on our PC, and is likely gonna be filled with a lot of bugs. I'm still game, I'm still super keen to see how 64-bit emulation works on the Pro X. I've been waiting for this for months, and if you're watching this video, you probably have as well. While we're waiting for this download to finish, it's a great time to remind you guys that if you're liking this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my content, of course, hit that subscribe button as well. All right, so that has finished downloading and installing pending a restart. And this is the first version of 2277. You can see down the bottom here, it says Windows 10 Inside Preview 21277 is also available. What we're going to do is we're going to do this restart now to make sure the first preview installs correctly. And then once the computer is back up and running, we'll hit the download and install option to get the 21277 Insider Preview loaded on here. Cool, so let's hit the restart now option and get the Windows Insider Preview loaded onto this PC. 
Okay, so this is taking way too long to load out of the Windows screen. I'm gonna do a power cycle just by holding the power button and see what happens. Again, this is the joys of moving to Insider Preview. This device was running perfectly for, for months and months. As soon as you install the preview, little finicky things like this do start to happen. So I'm holding the button and you can see that the logo has disappeared. It's popped back up and let's see if it boots into Windows now. All right, you can see down the bottom here, it's thinking it's actually loading into something. So maybe it was just stuck on uh, either firmware, drivers, or it just wasn't sure what was happening. All right, so we've loaded into Windows again. Let's quickly sign in. Facial recognition is just gonna sign me in. Sorry for the different camera angle, but this is, I'd rather you guys see it live time. Let's jump back into our updates, check for Windows updates and your PC is all up to date, awesome. Let's just check one more time to see if there's anything waiting to be pushed through. All right, so we have another update to install before we can download uh, the 21277 preview. So again, let's download this. This one is just for Microsoft Defender antivirus, but I wanna make sure this PC is fully updated before we install the latest Insider preview, just because I wanna make sure there are as little things possible that can go wrong. All right, so we've had a couple of hiccups now. We've installed the 2277 update. The PC froze during the update, meant to do a hard restart to get it back up and running. We've had to push through two incremental updates after that, and now we can finally install the Insider Preview build 21277 and get this 64-bit emulation running on the Surface Pro X. To install the 64-bit preview, if you are still game to do so, all you need to do is go into your settings, Go Windows Update and you have a big banner here saying Windows 10 Insider Preview is available. We are gonna select on the download and install option and it's gonna start downloading and installing. Hopefully we don't run into any issues like we did in the 2277 build, but we'll find out pretty soon, won't we? I knew doing this update was gonna take a while, but we started this at 9.20 and we're still installing 21277 update and it is 2.04 p.m. So it's, when you're doing this guys, make sure you put away at least five hours, if not an entire day, to update your Pro to the latest Windows Insider version so you can run that 64-bit app. I'm still pushing through it because I really, really, really wanna see how the 64-bit app run on the Surface Pro X. I thought I'd take this time to show you what it looks like when you try and run a 64-bit app without the emulation being installed. I'm just gonna install the next cam which is a PC monitoring tool. And then we're just gonna hit the free download. And this is gonna download a small 64-bit app. You can see we've got next game here. I'm gonna hit open. It's gonna try and run that file. And then we get hit with this error saying, this app can't run on your PC. To find a version for your PC, check with the software publisher. That's what it looks like right now, running the 2277 Windows Insider update. And hopefully once the 21 277 update is installed with that 64-bit emulation. Instead of getting this error, the app should just run. But let's hit close for now. Let's see that we have 100% uh, installing. So we are almost, almost there, guys. This just has to finish the installation. We can run an update, and then we have to download some more software to get this thing running the 64-bit emulation for ARM. The PC has asked us to hit the restart button, which I gladly did, and now it is restarting and installing the 21.277 update. This is really feeling like Christmas Day. It's two o'clock in the afternoon, and I feel like going for that Christmas nap, but you know what? We're gonna push through and make sure that this PC is up and running before we have any time off. All right, so we have installed the latest Windows Insider Preview build 21277. You can see in the bottom right hand corner, it says build 21277.rs. Now we have a few final steps of installing some drivers, and then we can test out some 64-bit apps. As I said, this is a very early dev edition of Windows 10, so I'm no longer screen recording on the PC because, well, the screen recorder has stopped working, so we're using the trusty iPhone here to do it all our screen recording now because we have lost the ability to screen record on the Pro. I am hoping though that once we install these couple of drivers from Qualcomm that the device allows me to do screen recording again. 
So I'll put this link down in the description below so you can get access to these. But basically, once we install 21.277, you're going to have to go over to this blogs.windows.com page and you're going to have to download two things. The first one is the Surface Pro X driver. So as it says here, the Qualcomm Adreno graphics drivers. Give me an MSI file. I'm going to open that and then I'm just going to allow it to run. Yes, welcome to the 64-bit emulator preview. Let's hit next on that. I will accept those terms and conditions and I will go next. Let's hit install and of course just run through the prompts and let this Qualcomm driver install. And then the last thing we're going to do is install the additional support of ARM64 and X64C++. So we're going to download this driver here as well and we're going to agree to that. Uh, I'm going to do a quick restart of the PC here just to make sure that everything is taking place and then we should be good to go. So no dice on the screen recording just yet. I am uninstalling, I'm gonna reinstall a few programs to see if that fixes the issue. But for now, how about we try out a 64-bit app for the first time. You guys saw a couple of hours earlier, we got that error message. Let's see if the same thing happens now. Grab that installation file and hit open file. Success, we now get the option of running the executable where before we just got the error message. So it's taken its time, but it's got, it's downloading and guys, girls, everybody watching this video, we finally have 64-bit applications running on the Surface Pro X or even wider running on ARM for Windows 10. I can't tell you how excited I am to finally have the capability here. And yes, this is in developer preview, but the fact that this is running, and let's just continue as guest for now, just to make sure that it all works properly. The fact that this is running to me is amazing because there's gonna be so much more capabilities on the Surface Pro X that I've already loved using for the past year. And there we have it. It might have taken five or six hours, but we now have 64-bit apps emulating on the Surface Pro X. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and seriously hit that subscribe button because in the coming weeks, I'll be doing a lot more in testing the 64-bit apps on the Surface Pro X.